Hello guys and welcome, this is a quick tutorial on how to turn vehicles into props. So first of all, what you need is the mod tool mod. I am going to put a link into the description to the mod and you have to activate it. What is important, after activating the mod you have to restart the game in order to make it work. So I've already restarted my game and now we're going just going into the game. Okay, so once in game we have to search for the vehicle that we want to turn into a prop. In my case this is going to be this Soviet truck here. So you have to find it on the road and then click on it. What the mod tool mod gives you are these two new buttons. We don't want to bother with the first one, I don't know what it does, but we want the second one. So you choose the vehicle that you want to turn into a prop and press dump asset. Okay, what this does is extracting all of the files that this vehicle is based on out of the game and putting them into a folder. To be specific, it uses this folder that I'm going to show you right now and it tells you where it is. So in my case it is system user your username app data local colossal order city skylines add-ons import. You have to create a folder called import if there if you haven't done already and it will automatically put all the files of this vehicle into this folder. You can see them here. So what we're going to do next is create the new prop. What I'm going to do first is deactivate all my assets because the asset editor loads up all the objects on startup. So if every asset that you have is loaded up, well in my case there are, it's more than 2000 assets so it is going to take forever to load up. This is why I'm going to deactivate all the assets before I start up the asset editor. I'm not going to deactivate any mods or map themes or maps, whatever. I'm just deactivating the objects. So now we can create the new prop. Let's go to object editor, press new. Theme doesn't matter. Okay, now that we're in the asset editor, we create a new prop. So we choose prop, continue. In this page you have to choose a template on which your new object is based on. So in my case all of my assets that I've downloaded are deactivated so it only shows the objects that are already in the game. It does not really matter what object you choose. I try to choose an object which is about the size of my desired object but it, I don't think that it matters. So in this case I choose this container and just press continue. So now if you put all your files into the correct folder that I've showed you earlier you should get in this window a list on the left out of which you can choose the object that you want to create. So in my case this is the truck that I've just extracted from the game and put into the folder. So the only thing that we have to do here is set the correct scale. You always get a random scale in this window. So what we're going to do is set the scale to a hundred, which sets the scale to the exact size that the vehicle is in the game. So the prop vehicle is the exact same size as the functioning vehicle in the game. So set it to a hundred and continue. So here we are, you can see this is the truck. What we can do here, adjust some more settings. For example this here, we don't want any rain texture around the object, but we do want color variations. We can set the color variations in the material tab. So you can choose what color you want your prop to spawn in. And well, I think in this case I don't want any color variations because this truck was only available in this color, if I'm right, I've never seen it in any, other, in any other color. So, here we go. All we have to do now is save the object. So, I'm going to call this Van 2 
since I've already created an asset called BAM1. And the name doesn't really matter if you only use it for your own purposes like I do. So press save and there you go. Okay, so now that we're in game, we can take a look at the prop that we've just created. So here we go. This is the workshop vehicle that we've just turned into a prop. Guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.